Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make good sub bass for tracks like the one called Lost by Hybrid Minds. So this is the reference. <laughs> It's such a warm, low sub that has a really smooth movement. So now if we listen to the reference with my sub. That's the sound we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if we want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have our initialized patch. And we're actually gonna use a saw wave for a sub. And the reason why is because a saw wave contains all the different harmonics that we will want to use in such a warm bass like this one. We just need to add interesting movements into them and filtering via all the effects that we have in Serum. So for example, we can turn on a filter. Set it on 24. And as you can see, it starts to become a sub slowly. Let's set this at around 120. And then let's add unison to have this movement on the left and right channels. Now don't worry if you're like automatically thinking about what's gonna happen with the mono compatibility of this sound, because we're gonna treat that on the post-processing later. Let's also turn on the sub and bring the level down. This is just to layer a stronger fundamental in the sound. Cool, and now let's go into the FX and let's turn on the distortion. But let's go to a soft clip mode. And this is just to add more volume or gain into our sound. So, now we have a very similar type of sub, but to all of the mixing engineers in the comments talking about how this affects the face of the sub against the kick and blah, 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 we need to go into some post-processing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to load an EQ and now we're going to turn on the mid-side mode and we're going to go into the stereo and we're going to realize that yes, indeed, there is stereo information on the sub as we can see right here so what we're going to do is we're going to group this eq and we're going to call this sub and we're going to remove all of these stereo frequencies so if we go to the mono side we are only having those mono frequencies now let's see what happens if we add an utility. We put it in mono. There's no changes, which is really cool. And we still keep kind of the same tone in the sound, but we are lacking the really cool movements and warmth of the liquid bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this change, this chain and call it stereo harmonics and then on this chain we're going to go into the sides and just try to bring back everything but the fundamental because we don't want the fundamental to get affected by the facing of the unison let's also remove all the mono information from here so right now this is just the stereo signal So we're keeping our mono signal. But we are just letting everything above the fundamental to be stereo. And we can boost this effect. For example, we can bring this higher. We can implement this utility here. Or let's actually just copy it. And then let's boost again. Like that. And we can add something, for example, like a chorus. Let's add a chorus here. 
for more movement and we can add a plugin like wider which is actually free and make this even wider so now if we layer this with the mono we still have a mono sub and it still has that warmth and movement in the stereo field but it is still mono compatible like this as you can see which is awesome so this is how you can make really clean liquid sub bases that have warmth and wideness into those really cool harmonics on top so that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video if you liked it make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and if you want to get access to a preset and the project files you can become a member of preset pass the link is in the description below so thank you so much for watching hope you have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye